again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz where I've had to change the video because being a lawyer I'm shit at maths and I completely buggered it up. It's actually 16,000 for the total. That includes the camo and the tank. I, on the other hand, added them both together. Why? Because I'm a fucking Muppet. So let's really look at this event. Rolling Spring where you can get this tank the M4FL10, a tier 7 medium tank sitting in the hybrid nation and an auto loading, auto loader or reloader or whatever you call it. And it was the first one to come into Blitz. The tank itself, well, basically it's a Sherman with a funky donkey turret on the top. This tank really existed, by the way. It's an Egyptian army tank. And there's a review on this tank, if you click the link above, where I first looked at it when it first came into the game. It's not a bad tank. It's got a pretty nice reload. Okay, it's got some downsides, but hey guys, effectively this is almost a free tank. Uh, believe me on that. Now I know you should have watched the war gaming live stream or video on this that came out yesterday, I believe. But I'm going to just go through it anyway. A lot of people are confused over this event, thinking that you've got to win your first 10 battles. No. Basically, for the first 10 battles that you play in regular mode only, that's, that's, in, that's basically random battles, not ratings, for every 10 damage that you cause, you will get one emblem. So if you cause 100 damage, you get 10 emblems. It's pretty straightforward. Regardless if you win the battle or not, you will still get the emblems. However, it's going to be pretty tricky to get this tank and the camo as a freebie, to be fair, guys. Now, I've already completed 10 battles this morning, and I'm already halfway there, as you can see. And I did, I only rolled out in tier 8, and I only rolled out in British tanks. Uh, and I did 12,820 damage, which equates to 1,282 emblems. That leaves me short of 14,718 emblems to complete the entire task. Meaning that over the next six days, I've got to do 147,180 damage total. Hmm. Which means I have to hit 2,453 damage per battle pretty tall order if I want to get everything. To be fair, not many people are going to um, hit 2,300 per battle. The majority, if you go out in the derpy guns, you're going to hit that 2,500, but you've got to do it for 10 games, which means you'll get, you'll get close. But hitting 2,300 damage over 10 games in every game is going to be tricky guys so don't think they're sit there thinking that this event is going to be pretty straightforward however it's it's possible and it's manageable to be honest with you i foresee a lot of people taking out derp guns like the um Jaegeru or the death star for obvious reasons a lot of people are going to be driving isus for obvious reasons because they need you need to get that damage up guys win or lose to hit 2,300 per battle, over 10 battles, uh, it's pretty difficult. And the thing is, it doesn't matter if you take the ISU out 10 times. As long as you roll out and do damage 10 times for the first 10 battles, you'll get the emblems. Simple fact of life. But even if you don't complete the task, don't be dismayed. You can still purchase the tank for gold. I mean, if I wanted to right now, I can purchase this tank for 8,390 gold. So don't, don't, you know, don't think that you're, you're getting a tank for free. You will get the tank for free if you can do that 2,300 per battle for 10 battles, the first 10 battles every day. But you will significantly get the cost of the tank reduced. And that's the thing. You know, it's there to be got. You may not get it, but at least you can lower the cost of it. Is it worth getting this tank? Well, I mean, that depends. I mean, it's a nice tank to have in your garage. I haven't rolled out in it in a long time, to be perfectly honest with you. 
Um, it's a nice tier 7 auto loading auto loader or auto loading reloader or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, so yeah, it's worth giving it a go. You don't have to spend anything realistically to have the chance to win this tank. All you've got to do is roll out and do 10 battles and do as much damage as you can. As I said, if you don't manage to hit that glorious figure of, of just over 2.3k per battle, then hey, don't despair, guys. You, you, you know, you will still be able to get the tank for gold, as I said. I actually think this is not a bad event, to be honest with you. Like most wargaming events of this calibre, they're not guaranteeing you a free tank. They are basically trying to get you to play the game and do as well as you can. And they've given you the opportunity to win a tank. Simple as that. And if you want the camo to go with it, then, you know, you've got the opportunity to do that also. All you've got to do is roll out and play 10 battles every day and do as much damage as you possibly can. You may get the tank for free. You may not. I think it's a pretty tall order, but hey, you're given the opportunity and that's what matters. Like I said, I mean, I, I'm not overly interested in the event because I've already got the tank. I got the tank when it first came out. But the thing about it is... You know, it was nice to roll out in some of these games. Did 2,000 odd damage in the one game with the Centurion. Lost the game, but got almost 230 emblems, which was nice. I averaged over the 10 games, because I had two absolutely abysmal teams, I averaged 1,300 over the 10 games. But I wasn't taking it seriously. If I was trying to get the tank, I would have gone out in a derpy gun like the ISU-152, the Death Star, the Yeageru, the Waffle Tractor, anything like that, anything that's going to get your damage up, that's what you need to go out in if you're really set on winning this tank. Anyway, that is a brief overview of the Rolling Spring event. It's going to be out of reach for most of you, unfortunately, but, as I said, you can still buy the tank for gold if you really want it. So, I've been Fujit, that's been a brief overview of the Rolling Spring event. By all means, comment and everything below. Press subscribe if you haven't, nice thing to do. And like getting the tank, it'll cost you nothing. So, fire up those derp guns, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because guys, really, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. And who knows, you may end up with a free tank in your garage. And if you've already got it, don't worry, because you'll get some credits back. So, just roll out and see how much damage you can cause.